Metamorphic rocks. Describe how metamorphic rocks are formed and explain the properties of metamorphic rocks. So metamorphic stems from the Greek word change of form. So how are metamorphic rocks made? So the original rocks are then exposed to heat and pressure, which can change them into metamorphic rocks. And the original rocks are usually found in the Earth's crust. The new metamorphic rock is usually hard wearing and resistant to weathering and erosion. So key things, heat and pressure changes an original rock into a metamorphic rock. So some examples of metamorphic rocks are marble, which is formed from the original rock limestone, slate, which is originally formed from clay. The next one I can't pronounce, but it's formed from sandstone or shale. Metamorphic changes. So when the original rocks metamorphose, they change their crystal structure without actually melting. So the new crystals that form, or recrystallization, and the structure of the rock changes permanently. And this happens quite often around volcanoes. So the new minerals are more stable in the new conditions and, and pressure and temperature. Different minerals form at different temperatures, and the new minerals can be used to estimate the temperature, depth and pressure that the original rock metamorphosed at. Metamorphic changes. Limestone, chalk and marble are permanent, oh sorry, limestone, chalk and marble are actually chemically identical to each other but only marble is a metamorphic, metamorphic rock. So metamorphic rocks are hard and shiny and marble is a classic example of that because it's extremely hard and it can be polished to be extremely shiny. Um, and marble is quite often used by sculptors as it can be carved into shapes. So some information about original rocks and what metamorphic rock forms and what its use can be. So sandstone which is layered sand grains, can form the metamorphic rock quartzite, which is much harder and the original layers get destroyed and it can often be used in, for building stone. Limestone, which is layers with fossils in, can be changed into the metamorphic rock marble, which is much harder, it's shiny and it has no fossils and it can be used for building stones, statues, work surfaces, etc. And then mudstone, which is has layers and crumbles easily, can form the metamorphic rock slate, which is very hard, shiny, and it splits in one direction to give flat sheets. So it can be used for roofing or facings for buildings. So the formation during the formation of metamorphic rocks, um, the way in which it's formed depends on the temperature and pressure that it's subjected to. So the most intense metamorphism is called high grade metamorphism and it produces the stone gneiss, which has, alt has alternating bands of light and dark materials. And this type of metamorphism is often connected with the collision of tectonic plates. So heat and high pressure can destroy information that was contained in the rocks. So limestone is full of marine fossils, but once it, it forms a metamorphic rock, marble, it has no fossils because the fossils get destroyed by the heat and pressure. Um, so because of the fact that the fossils get destroyed by the heat and the pressure, um, it also is very hard to know the origin of the rock. And that is the end of metamorphic rocks.